My beautiful people, it's Angie from Paradigm uh, coming to you with our Did You Know episode. Missed you guys last week, um, but let's get rocking and rolling. Today we have a pretty interesting topic uh, and, and a question that comes up uh, quite frequently while we're out there. Um, so the question is, should I have some kind of antivirus protection on my mobile device, um, whether it's your cell phone, your tablet? Uh, so before I answer your question, I want to think back a little bit to the capabilities. Let's take a cell phone, for example. What were the capabilities, you know, a few years back, back in the day? Um, and if we think about it, the cell phone was really a device that was utilized to make and receive phone calls. Um, you know, at some point, we uh, incorporated the texting feature, um, and then we had, you know, other features like gaming, email, and so little by little, we have really taken a device that would that had, you know, one or two main. Um, uh, capabilities and really beefed it up to the point where we now have a uh, truly a full-blown computer at our fingertips so with that being said um, the answer to to the question that I asked is absolutely yes and I'm going to give you a couple of recommendations for that. But before we do that, um, I did come across this really cool article that talked about 14 signs that your smartphone or tablet has been hacked. So again, we have computer devices at our fingertips, and it, that is, um, you know, definitely an, an opportunity for anyone to, uh, you know, have that information compromised. So with that being said, I'm not going to go over every single one of them. But I do want to go over some of the main ones because some of these symptoms, when, when I think about it, are things that uh, happen quite frequently and sometimes we kind of dismiss it as one or, you know, something or another. But one of the uh, main um, signs would be your smartphone or tablet uh, working at a much slower uh, speed than before. So many times we attribute this to maybe the battery burning out or um, too much data, too much information on the device. And while all of those are definitely, um, you know, potential reasons for, for your device um, working at a slower rate, uh, it's definitely something that you want to just double check, uh, take a peek at. Um, Along with, uh, if your device, uh, the battery is draining quickly, um, if it feels hotter than before, um, those are all uh, signs that there could be potentially applications and um, things that are running behind the scenes on the devices that you're not aware of and are draining up your battery. Um, if you happen to see any applications that are installed on the device, so, um, you know, and you don't recall installing them, uh, definitely something to check out. Um, normally, even with updates on your systems, uh, the, the, the device won't automatically install applications, new applications without your approval. So if you notice anything funny, um, you want to take a look at it, look at the permissions and all of that good stuff. If the device is sending or receiving text messages on its own, uh, very, very important. That is a big red sign. So make sure that you take a look at that. Um, and there's several other ones here, um, including uh, applications not working properly, um, you know, experiencing unusual service disruptions. Uh, so I'll give you just a quick example. If you're listening to Pandora or your, um, you know, whatever you use for uh, music streaming, um, you know, if you notice that the volume is just kind of um, going up and down on its own, or you know, there's a change of selection to the music that you are listening to, and you're not necessarily prompting these changes, those are definitely um, things you want to check out. All right, so I will post the rest of this link. Uh, so that you can take a look at the entire article and be informed. Um, before I do that, uh, you know, one of the uh, one of the products that we work very uh, much with when it comes to antivirus is Kaspersky antivirus products. Um, why? Because Kaspersky is a very trusted. Um, very trusted company uh, when it comes to specializing in this particular area. And there's 
plenty of other ones you know a few other big names out there like Norton and, and you know some of those other ones so uh, you know take a look at that but if you go into uh, you know your computer and you do some research a lot of these have uh, downloadable applications that you can um, you know it, um, you can download to your phone or your mobile devices and they are you know antivirus um, protection so what it'll do it, some of them have a free version and then you, you can upgrade and pay um, you know for it to do you know much more automatically on its own but um, Kaspersky for example offers a free um, application that allows you to scan so the phone will automatically prompt you anytime there has been an update to your phone anytime an application um, either a new application is downloaded or updated it'll prompt you to scan it for any um, you know any viruses or any any kind of funny things so um, you scan it and then it'll give you like a green light or it'll tell you if it finds anything goofy um, again there's paid versions for this but definitely um, it is worth it to have that extra peace of mind put it on your device and all of your your cell phone and all mobile devices and um, and just protect protect away that is a wrap for today you guys have a fantastic week go forth and conquer and i look forward to seeing you guys next week thank you much